Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, on this video, I'm trying to accomplish um, this screenshot that I have here. Uh, all I want is um, an option for the user so they can type in a sales order number. And you can add one per row. That's the instructions that I have here. And this text box or text area is mandatory. So if you click process, if this box is empty, it's not going to do anything. That's what I'm trying to do. And I have a small script here that you guys can see how I did it and how I can give you an idea to make your own script. So that's what I have here. I'm trying to make a, a page with two elements, a bot button and a text area, text box. So this is what I have here. This is the type of script, Suitlet, and I'm requesting all these modules for my case. Maybe for your case is not necessary, all of this, but for my example here, I'm requesting all of this. And as you can see right here, the descriptions, and I'm gonna be using it down here below. So here, as you can see, when the script fires, on request, what well, uh, as you can see, I'm checking what type of request uh, method it is. If I have a get, then I'm gonna build a form. And as you can see here, I have a function uh, named build form, and I'm passing the server widget, which is has all the components for the form. So I'm passing that to this form or to this function. And as you can see here, that's my title, close order confirmation. That's the title right here. Or you can name it close sales order, the same thing. And then hey, I'm saying, okay, my form, um, I need to add a field. And I'm gonna add, uh, this is gonna be my ID and the type is going to be a text area because it's, the text box is too small. It won't fit everything. So you need a text area. And the label is going to be sales order list one per row. As you can see, that's the, the top text on the text area. And once, one thing to make sure is that your custom fields need to start with C U S T page, cust page, like custom page, and then some kind of ID. And this must be unique. So if you copy and paste this uh, guy and make another one, if you don't have a, this, a unique ID, it's gonna create an error. So then the next thing I'm doing here is saying, well, I wanna make the text area mandatory. So it won't post unless there's values in the text area and then finally you just say form add submit button and then okay I need a button then label process or save whatever uh, it might be and then finally you return the form so if we go back up here the form is returning to that variable form and I'm saying context respond and I'll write a page which is the form and that will get you to that oops we'll get you the this form in NetSuite obviously you can add more controls here but that's up to you uh, and do that and that's how I did it uh, the other video my previous video has as the close order so that function is the same thing on the previous video and this is just a search that I have here I'm looking for the sales order internal ID because to close an order you need to know what the sales order internal ID is so hopefully uh, this video might give you a good idea how you can use uh, the server widget to create a form when you have a get.
So as you saw, it was pretty simple. It's not complicated. The only tricky part sometimes is if you have too many uh, components here, you kind of get to learn how to arrange arrange the components in the page depending on how your requirements are. So hopefully this video will give you an idea how you can create a form and a suitlet using this template. So this source code will be in, and the link will be in the description below. So make sure you can check it out. And so you don't have to, you know, watch the video just to copy the code. So you can just copy and paste. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can keep up with the NetSuite videos and other topics. Thank you for watching.